All right, so Heidi broke down and got the card, even though we said we didn't, wasn't going to. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So, Laundry's but, cheap enough here. Yeah, it's a buck fifty. And it looks like it's pretty decent as far as the machines. Tells you what your balance is. So anyway, she'll uh, she'll do that. It says 1850 left. But let me show you what it looks like when you get in here. You got this machine, right? And basically with the machine, you're going to uh, put your debit card in there. I'm sorry, your credit card, whatever. And it's going to spit out that card that she has in her hand right now and you gotta pay for the card once you have that card then you load it uh, by putting it in the machine again and putting the dollar amount that you want on there so it's kinda it's kinda goofy that they you got a one-time fee I don't know if we're ever gonna run across these machines again but who knows probably yeah probably never but you can see the laundromat's pretty nice as far as it's layout and we pretty much it's open 24 hours I think right Yeah. because it's never been off so yeah um, Heidi was gonna go to the uh, local laundromat but what happened the terrible reviews and I didn't want I don't have to deal with an attendant here yeah she said the reviews were horrible at the other place so uh, all right Let's get some laundry done. We're doing some extra laundry since we're up here. There's a couple things we want to show you. Um, first of all, the trash is all the way at the beginning of the park, so everybody's got to empty it up there, but they do empty the cans relatively quick. But I want you to notice two things. Here's a dog park, and number two, with how busy and packed this place is other than some dogs off in the distance and they sound like they're barking inside the RV it's pretty quiet here yeah it's it's really really quiet here i'm i'm kind of shocked because this place is packed but it's very very quiet so honey i's going to sit over here in the recliners and relax while well laundry gets done Ain't that right? There's a lot of park models that are here for sale too. But it's very, very quiet at night here. I'm shocked.
a little snake on the lily pad. Okay, so this is San Carlos RV Park, RV Resort. And what we're looking at is if this is some place we might want to stay next winter, um, for the whole winter. Um, I should say for the bulk of the winter, like January, February, March. So we're on our way to the beach, um, which we'll show you guys the beach in a little bit. Of course, we're riding our bikes. It's only about four miles to get there. And then this is the road that we got to cross right here at this light. So I told Heidi it'd be a good idea at this point to uh, stop and check this place out because there's like three places down here we wouldn't mind staying three months out of the winter. And the thing is, is you have to do your reservations like a year ahead of time, uh, if not more. Okay, so what did you find out? <laughs> Less than uh, three months. We call June 1st. Three months plus, call May 1st. Yeah, and we're going to, like I said, I, I'm probably not going to be able to show you the park when we drive through here but um it's about 800 a month here or a little bit more if you depends on what site you get yeah. it's about 800 a month during the winter so it's, it's feasible let's go ahead and look at this Here's place the first corner that we come to and uh wow this opens up and looks really beautiful through here if you want to take a look of course if you got a boat that would be ideal we'd buy a boat down here right? just for the winter i think that'd be a great idea but there's a little uh, beach access area and docks all around. Now, the camp, the campsites that I was talking about are not waterfront that are like 800 a month. They're the interior sites, which we'll go around here and see if we can show them to you a little bit more. So you have waterfront sites here that are really nice because it's water on both sides. Um, but this would be the section through here that we're talking about, the uh, middle 
the middle section. Um, of course, it's a little more, more crowded as you can tell, but for the most part, I don't know. I could see going through here. Give my shakiness, guys, because I'm doing this with the phone. Howdy. So this gives you a lowdown of what the place is like. Howdy. Oh, we'll go figure that out at 2608. Look at that, Jay. Here's a boat launch. That'd be fun to be close to the boat launch. Hi. This is a nice area. Some of these are really nice. This is nice too. Even though the site's not on the water. Yeah, yeah. I still look at the, the amenities. Well, it gives you a good idea of what it's like. Another laundry room and shower room. Now you have a reoccurring role. <laughs> <laughs> as you can imagine. Oh, there's a flagstaff. And that's the that's a twin doors. Howdy. And that's it. We're back to the uh, beginning of the loop here. So, kind of cool. What do you think about? A little cramped in some of the spots? Yeah. Yeah. Still, though, well, we got other places we can check out. So, San Carlos may be on our list. So, Fort Myers Beach. Uh, made it to it. Went over the big bridge. Um, got to cross right over here. And I'll tell you what, there's a ton of diners and stuff down there. Uh, going that direction, which is funny because almost everybody goes this direction, including us. Uh, if you guys remember a couple years back, wow, that's been almost four years now. We went to Lonnie Kai and ate up on the uh, balcony which maybe we'll do that again because it's right on the beach and you can sit outside in a swing you want me sitting in a swing yeah it was a pretty decent meal so yeah we're gonna go down on the beach and see what this is all about take a look at it wow okay so Fort Myers Beach is flooded yeah it's packed a lot more than what I imagined and it goes all the way down, guys. I don't know if you can tell this, but there are just people for as far as the eye can see. It's supposed to be a pretty decent day today. And the same in this direction, too. Hey, there's a bar down there. Yeah. And of course, all the activities out in the water. Go parasailing again. You want to go parasailing again, Hyde? Yeah. Done. Been there, done that.
so we're most of the way back from the beach but I wanted to show you the kind of intersections you get across like through here um, they're they're a little testy there's some traffic gets off close to you but if you just follow the rules of the road you can ride on the sidewalks down here in Florida you can ride on the sidewalk as long as you don't exceed 20 miles an hour um, you can have pedal assist. See, that's the whole thing. That's the trick behind these. Since there's pedal assist, if you pedal and you do 30 miles an hour, well, there's nothing they can really say because the bike only does 20 by itself, so they say. But anyways, um, some of the sidewalks, although they're relatively smooth, I mean, there's lots of bumps and dives and dips. Oh, Heidi almost lost her stuff in her basket. <laughs> we were full on 20 plus miles an hour and we went through a dip, a driveway dip that was kind of hidden. And I don't always see it because of my bifocals. Yeah. And it, sometimes it's too late. But I think that I'm on a block. you can ride your bike from oh, Fort yeah. Myers Beach RV Resort. You can ride your bike to this easy. 3.9 miles. To the beach. Yeah. So all these places are in between. Um, I'll tell you what would be fun, and I would love to try it one time, and that is bar hopping on the bicycles, because there's a lot of bars. Now, we stopped at a couple of RV parks. You've seen the one that we, we rode through there. Um, we stopped at another one. We didn't show you. It was It's an, a converted mobile home park, um, but the I don't know. Are... There's, there's some nice spots there yeah. uh, for you to stay the whole winter. I mean, it's like uh, $6,000. For six months, which is very good down here, um, and I'm talking about the winter months. So, just a thought. Um, I think you could do three months for six fifty a month or something like that. I don't remember. Maybe that's off season. But actually, if you stay three months, you get the fourth month for six fifty. Right. So that's not, what it is. I'm not quite sure how much it is per for month. the right. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. So, anyways, yeah, I love it. Um, today is currently, I don't know when you guys are watching this, but today is currently February, Heidi will tell us. 22nd, I think. Yeah, I think it's the 22nd also. Um, Monday. It's a Monday, and it's 80 degrees. It's very nice, nice, very nice. Ooh, there's a liquor store over there. So anyways, again, traffic, lots of traffic. This is a very busy intersection. And if you're trying to go to the beach, you've seen what we went through there. Um, we didn't have to do deal with any of that today. Not at all. Nope. All right, so we're going to head back to the RV park. And um, I don't know. We got some exercise in, so probably relax. His tail swing was so close to that North Point and then that box there that for the internet. But he got in there. Ooh, I'm telling you, it's tight. It's tight. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. That seems awful tight to me. Um, so what am I doing here? Uh, Heidi and I got back from the uh, beach, as you guys saw. And I think we need to close out this... Uh, part of the video. Um, beautiful day out though. 80 degrees. Heidi's outside talking to her daughter on the phone right now. And um, oh, that must be the, uh, the follow through there. That, that Jeep. That must be their towed vehicle. But the uh, campgrounds that we checked out were kind of interesting. Um, the uh, other two that we went to, they're together. They're, they're, and they've been around for a long time. Um, Anyways, we'll talk about that in the future at some point. But Heidi and I have discussed it, and we think we're, we're pretty sure that we want to be down here for winter. Um, pretty sure. Pretty darn sure. Heidi's uh, got some stuff here. I wonder what she's doing there. <laughs> uh, she's got a cricket. She's getting herself a new job hobby, possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Heidi, say goodbye to the camera because I'm going to close this out. Bye. What are you going to say?
Hope to see you out there. <laughs> so we'll talk to you guys later.